Mr. Speaker, earlier this week, the, the Transport Minister was at committee discussing his Air Canada bill. When asked by one of his own members how carrier maintenance obligations affect its competitiveness, he had no answer. Shockingly, he responded by saying, it's a big, serious question, and I don't have the answer at my fingertips. If the entire purpose of this legislation is to make Air Canada more competitive, could the minister at least have done his homework before introducing this bill? Wow. Transport. Mr. Speaker, I, I always do my homework before I speak, and uh, I want to make it very, very clear that one of the reasons that we are amending this act is because not only to prevent litigation in the future, but also to allow Air Canada to have more flexibility when it is competing in a very competitive environment domestically and internationally. We know that by removing from them certain obligation with respect to where they must do their maintenance, we will allow them to be more competitive. We're convinced of this, and that's why we're doing it. Thank you. Medal for Carlton Trail, Eagle Creek. Well, Mr. Speaker, with that answer, it's clear that the Minister of Transport still hasn't done his homework. I also asked if he could tell the committee what Air Canada's maintenance costs are, to which he responded, no, I can't tell you what the costs are. So let's try again. The Minister obviously can't explain the bill, so can he at least provide a shred of evidence to support it? Transport. I believe, uh, Mr. Speaker, that my honourable colleague is simply going on a fishing trip here. It is expensive for it is expensive for our airlines to maintain their airplanes to make sure that they are very, very safe. It is a significant amount of their fiscal expenditures every day of the year. We are providing Air Canada, which has over 400 airplanes, with some flexibility in deciding where it will do its maintenance while uh, holding on to the obligation that they must do some maintenance in Ontario, Quebec and uh, the, the province of Ontario.